Hey friends, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today we're gonna have a really crazy day. Um, I just finished my military job, just came back here, and I have the rest of the day to work on my 190E. Uh, and today the biggest work, the biggest task that I have to accomplish is I have to remove the interior out and I have to clean everything because everything is so filthy on the inside. Um, and this interior has never been out before I'm pretty sure so I need to take both front seats out probably the rear seat um, and just you know clean the carpets uh, and all that stuff and I also have to lift the carpets up so I can see uh, what's going on under the carpets and I need to make sure that there's no water leaks uh, and I want to make sure there's no rust um, okay and of course we're gonna do the preservation preservation uh, at the end um, with my favorite undercoating uh, method uh, which is a wheel bearing grease we're gonna grease everything up uh, to make sure that the area is well preserved and it will never ever rust anymore or I mean just it's just the best undercoating that you can do for your car and save your car from rusting which is grease okay so that's the plan a lot of stuff i'm gonna get going uh, i don't know how much i'm gonna film but just enjoy enjoy the video So this is the situation right here, uh, a lot of junk, a lot of debris everywhere, bolts everywhere, especially right there, everything is pretty nasty, okay? Oh, so that's why we're gonna take these seats out. These are the power seats, uh, by the way, so I'm gonna take these out. And my future video, I'll show you how to fix this uh, a net for this rear pocket so it's nice and tight like this instead of sagging so I'll do that but uh, yeah and um, as far as the front it's uh, it's also pretty nasty uh, and these are not the right color but the previous owner were saying that they were missing when he got in the car so he got these these ones but, yeah and then there's a lot of junk like right there underneath so this will need to be taken care of and stuff so a lot of stuff guys so I'm gonna get to work on this baby right now
so I started cleaning the interior that's pretty crazy guys I don't know how you can trash out the interior like that it's pretty crazy I mean with all this the spillage right here it's it's nuts uh, honestly saying I don't know what to say but yeah and uh, looks like nobody really cared to clean anything until I got this car so that's what we're doing I'm gonna make this 190e great again thumbs up Alright guys, I don't have much time. I really need to get it done. So that's why I'm not filming too much uh, I'll just uh, show it to you really quickly. So what I'm doing right now is As you can see this is all uh, this was a little wet so it's drying up right now and Everything over here looks amazing looks great uh, So I'm cleaning it all up right now and I will be actually spraying everything with either fluid film or wheel bearing grease so this stays preserved and uh, W201s are really nice because they have these openings for rocker rockers, so I'll be actually spraying uh, stuff in there as well like fluid film and uh, I'll be preserving all, all that stuff and uh, this carpet everything was really dirty uh, inside I haven't started on that side yet but I'm just doing this side and uh, yeah just want to get it done and I'm also working on that seat right there uh, yeah, cleaning all that up and uh, the seat frame is actually rusty so I'm actually removing the rust and I'll be painting all that so yeah but that's kind of like an update uh, also checking my sunroof drains right now that's why the sunroof is open and all that stuff so and uh, I'll show you um, some stuff after I'm done cleaning here and uh, prep, prepping everything. Mm, okay guys, so here's the seat and I was cleaning everything here with the grinder and the wire wheel and uh, just waiting for this thing to, for the rust dissolver to work its way in and then after that I'll, I'll be cleaning it all. Okay, so make sure you check all your uh, seat frames and if it's rusty, take the seat out, clean it like this and then I repaint it, protect that stuff and I'm about to clean all this area up, make it nice. All right guys, so I inspected these uh, seat mounts and I saw some paint bubbling in a few spots so I started uh, scraping it off and there was some surface rust so I'm cleaning that up and I'm about to paint that um, and seal it up and it's gonna be good. This side is okay, but I still need to clean it some more with a plastic brush.
wow guys look at this I found a french fry <laughs> probably from like 1996 anybody wants it it's crazy it's been living in this seat for that many years that is crazy Ooh, look at that that's not good anymore okay guys so while the seat is getting dry uh, from you know me painting the frame and all that and other parts um, so this is pretty much almost ready to go back together uh, these are all dried up okay I was working on these rear seat mounts yesterday I was inspecting for rust it was a, a few uh, surface rust spots so I fixed all that up and coated everything with paint and also another thing that I did is I had my favorite fluid film okay this is one of the best undercoating uh, methods that you can do to your car and actually this uh, the W201 chassis they're really nice because uh, if you look right here they have openings right here for um, your um, you know for the access to uh, your rocker panels and all that stuff so this is your the access all the all these uh holes right here that you can see uh they're really nice um you can go ahead and use the fluid film and this fluid film bottle actually comes with this straw which makes it really easy and nice and you can actually get everywhere in there and spray uh, the rocker panel from the inside and protect everything from rusting so this is what i did i'll show you some results but it's pretty amazing i'm really happy about that and uh you know if you ask me about the smell so the smell is actually not so bad yesterday was a lot worse when i sprayed it uh, but right now it's like not too bad and i think when the carpet comes back down it's actually gonna cover everything so i'm not really worried about that and i also started spraying some fluid film right under this area right here where this front cross member for the seat is uh that way there's gonna be no rust and no problems in there and uh yesterday i don't know if i told you or not but yesterday i actually poured i was pouring a lot of water in here because i wanted to make sure that there are no leaks there are no water leaks coming inside and it's actually everything is dry uh there's no water leaks or anything like that so um you know i'm, I'm really i'm really happy about that um and yeah uh, final thing is i'm probably gonna grab the wheel bearing grease i'm gonna start coating everything with, with wheel bearing grease I want to make everything good, protected, and all that stuff. And it's actually a pretty hot day here today. Uh, maybe not so hot, but for me it's hot because, um, you know, I'm just working a lot. Uh, you know, there's the seat right there. Um, and, uh, you know, I borrowed my friend's uh, a vacuum right there and actually a cordless heat gun because I was uh, doing some work here and there and uh yeah it's pretty crazy guys if you like my videos uh subscribe to my channel like this video okay uh keep watching my videos and enjoy them okay guys so here's the seat um actually cleaned everything here it used to be so filthy right now it looks really nice and beautiful i cleaned all these i used this small brush to get in all these spots and clean to clean all the uh dust off and debris and actually i painted this frame this frame was rusty so i cleaned everything up and painted it uh, with primer and black paint so it's still drying up right now i did it on both sides all right um and uh, uh later on once this is all done uh, i'll be greasing all the gears of the seat motors uh, there's one gear right there uh, there's a few more right there okay you see the teeth you need to grease all these teeth so everything moves nice and smooth okay and this right here also needs to be greased up this is the uh your seat track okay so this will be all getting done in the meantime i'm going to be getting uh ready to prepare everything inside uh put the carpet back on and then finally i can put the seat back once it's ready so here's one of the holes uh and right there you can see a lot of fluid film everywhere that i sprayed and same thing right there okay same thing right there where this cross member is okay this is amazing stuff guys Yes. 
you see that napkin right there so um there's there was actually some surface rust right there and i'm cleaning it up now with my screwdriver so there's my screwdriver so i'll show you where the rust spot is hopefully you can see it kind of that's a really difficult shot oh my gosh Maybe from here it will work, kind of, I don't know. But there was some surface rust right there, so I was, I was cleaning it, okay. And uh, I'm about to paint that area right there, okay. Just a small surface rust. Okay guys, so there's some progress for you. As you can see, I put a lot of grease right here uh, where the rear seats mount, a lot of fluid film and everything. This cross member, everything has been fluid filmed and uh, greased up and I repaired that spot right there that had uh, um, some surface rust. So that was all cleaned up to the bare metal and primered and painted and also greased up right now. Okay. So that's all protected, and I was putting I put a lot of grease right here where these uh, bottom spots are, um, just so it's all protected. And I'm basically getting ready to install this seat back. And I checked for water leaks. There are no water leaks whatsoever. Okay, under this uh, thing. So I'm pretty happy about that and I also cleaned up a lot of panels already that I'll show you in a, a little bit uh, They look really nice. All right So I rerouted this red cable now it runs underneath like it's supposed to all right It's not that I need it. It's aftermarket Cable for like a subwoofer or something and it goes up there now it goes here now um I did have like uh, when I initially pulled this carpet out, I had like a little bit of like dampness here, which was really weird. I wasn't sure what that was from, and uh, I did find the issue. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. Uh, I pulled all these computers out of here, okay, and I located this. And do you see this grommet? Look how messed up it is. It's not sealing properly. See that right there? It's totally off and of course it's gonna leak. You know, the water doesn't really get to this area uh, that much, but still uh, anything's possible. So that grommet has to be straight, just like those grommets. But that one is not, so I'm gonna be fixing that up and then I gotta clean this area up, okay, from all the dirt and junk, and then I'll coat it with wheel bearing grease. I'll take this bracket off as well, just so we're gonna be good here. Gotta preserve this area as well. But it's basically the tip for you guys if you have like a water leak in your, your W201 or 124, uh, check those grommets. So this is where it goes, okay. Um, yeah and you can see the daylight as well uh, so i don't know if that's a big issue i don't think so i think the main issue is the ceiling make sure it seals right over there okay so that one is not a big deal uh okay but the area where it actually seals right there that's important
All right, some final touch-ups with turtle wax cleaner, carpet cleaner. It actually really smells good. I really like it. So.